Snow White, and the Royal Crown. Once upon a time, a very beautiful girl named Snow White was living in a faraway land. One day, Snow White took a ride in the woods with her clever horse, Prego. When Prego got tired, they stopped and rested under a tree. At that time, Snow White realized that there were wild strawberries around and began to pick some. These strawberries are so delicious that I can eat even five handfuls of them in one sitting, Prego. The princess handed some of the wild strawberries to Prego, and he ate them. He was very hungry from the long journey. Then they continued their journey. In another corner of the forest, Hela, who was jealous of the beauty of Snow White, was walking around. Of course, her clumsy assistant Dunkoff was with her. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! My Queen! Wild strawberry season has come! Look, I've picked some for you! Oh! Oh! Oh. If you could do anything, I'd be surprised, Dunkov. Hella was collecting materials for her new spells on this trip to the forest. And a little from that weed? Okay. It's you! It's you! My queen! I can't stop sneezing! It's you! <laughs> because it is a sneezeweed, Dunkov. <laughs> Hella protected herself from the sneezing weed with a flick of her wrist. However, Achoo. Dunkov continued to sneeze. Achoo. Achoo. Meanwhile, something shining among the trees caught their attention. Dunkov, don't move. I'm going to go and take a closer look at whatever that bright thing is over there. While Hella was slowly moving towards the shining object, Snow White also saw the same glimmer in the woods. Prego, wait here. I'll go and see what that strange bright thing is. Prego's nose began to pick up unpleasant scents. Pungent smells were all around. And he tried to stop Snow White. Don't worry, Prego. Nothing will happen. I'll just check it out. On the one hand, Snow White. On the other hand, the evil Hella were walking carefully. As they got closer, they realized that the bright thing they saw was a golden crown. A gold crown? Huh? Snow White? Hella? Hella reacted quicker than Snow White and snatched up the crown. It's my crown, okay? It is mine. No one can take it. <laughs> no, Hella, it is a royal crown. Only the real princesses can wear it. Who made up that dumb rule? Hella didn't care and proceeded to place the crown on her head. But there was no change. The crown didn't even fit her. Well, that just proves that it's a simple, ordinary crown. Your Majesty, because you are not a real princess. Huh? What did you say? This is the golden rule of the Book of Princesses. Only real princesses can use the true power of that crown. Well, if that's the case, and I'm holding this magical crown, I will never give you this power, Snow White. <laughs> Ella took the crown and started to back away. 
poor Snow White couldn't stand it, and her curiosity got the best of her, so she followed Hella. Wait, if you give me the crown, I will tell you the secret of my beauty. What? No way. Really? Prego, I have never lied, have I? Hella wanted to know the secret of Snow White's beauty more than anything else in the world. All right, princess. But it will not be easy to get this crown. With the tiny magic mirror she pulled out of her pocket, Hella revealed three identical boxes. She put the crown in one of these boxes and started to rearrange and mix up the boxes quickly with that little mirror. You have three guesses, Snow White. If you can't find the correct box with the crown, the crown will stay with me forever. <laughs> Snow White watched the boxes carefully and chose one of them. But it wasn't the right box. <laughs> Wrong. The crown was in this box. You have two guesses left, princess. The boxes were getting mixed up again quickly. This time, the princess carefully followed the box with the crown. She made her decision when the boxes stopped. But she was wrong again. <laughs> the crown was in this box. Now it is your last chance, Snow White. We must be more careful, Prego. You watch too. Hella put the crown in one of the boxes again and started mixing with the magic mirror. Snow White and Prego were watching the boxes carefully. In the end, they both marked the same box. And they found the crown. No! No way! No! <laughs> we finally found it! Now you can give the royal crown to its real owner! Me, Hella! No! I won't! I won't! I found it first! It's mine! Hella threw a pinch of sneezeweed to Snow White. Prego, however, jumped forward to protect the princess and caught the weed with his mouth. And he started sneezing immediately. Prego, you have to go and eat some wild strawberries. I'm sure it will be good for you. While looking around, Prego noticed the wild strawberries in Dunkov's hand and he quickly ran and started to eat the red berries out of Dunkov's hand. Achoo! Were these good for sneezing? Achoo! You must keep your promise, Hella. Otherwise, I will never tell you the secret of my beauty. Hella remembered her desire to learn all the secrets of Snow White's beauty and finally agreed to give the crown to Snow White. It wasn't beautiful anyway, and I think it does nothing. Take the crown. Come on, Snow White, tell me. Tell me, how can you be so beautiful? What are you eating? Is it black mud? Or do you put leaf jam on your face? What are you doing? What, what, what? Snow White looking at Hella with all her beauty, explained to her the most important secret, as she promised. It is not any of those you mentioned. The secret of my beauty is just having a kind heart, Hella. What? A kind heart? Nonsense. 
The secret of my beauty lies in my heart full of kindness and in my deep love for people, animals, and nature, Ella. I'm telling the truth. Snow White, after her last words, got on her horse Prego. Then she wore the royal crown and became invisible, thanks to the power of the crown. Discover the goodness in your heart. Hela and Dunkov couldn't believe what they saw. The royal crown has an invisibility power. How do I get a kind heart? I must go and look at the spell book immediately. Get out of my way, Dunkov. Snow White finally returned to the castle with the royal crown on her head. She put her royal crown in a special place and went to see Prince Antoine. And the seven dwarves welcomed Snow White with joy. Snow White, did you bring us wild strawberries? A big sack of wild strawberries is waiting for you in the garden. Hooray! Yay! Hooray! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yippee! Let's go and eat! Hey, let's go I get the strawberries. strawberries! Off to the garden! Let's go and eat! Oh, yeah! Yay! Thoughtful and kind you are, Snow White. Everyone has the ability to be kind, my prince. While Snow White and all her loved ones happily were eating wild strawberries, the evil-hearted Hela was trying to make herself a good heart in her cave for days and nights. I'm so close. I think it's done this time. <laughs> Unfortunately, she never understood that the spells she makes can never replace true, selfless kindness towards others. <laughs>